The San Diego Padres have the Los Angeles Dodgers on the ropes after last night's 6-5 victory. We'll break down Game 4, where we have a look on a plus money play. Hi, I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I have a special offer to share with you guys towards the end of the video. But for now, if you guys enjoy this content, hit the like button. Subscribe to the Wager Talk channel if you haven't already. Let us know in the comments section who you got tonight in the MLB, whether it be a side, a total, or player prop. We'll be checking those comments and responding back to you guys. So we got a little too cute on yesterday's video. Michael King, under four and a half hits allowed. We actually lost it on the hook. Uh, despite him giving up five runs, he only did allow five hits. And if Profar would have caught that bets home run, we actually would have cashed. On the bright side, we did cash our 5% client play with the Padres money line. So we'll look to get back on track today for our video. First pitch, 9.08 p.m. Eastern, again from Petco Park. Again, it's on FS1. Pods right now, favored minus 135. On the money line, we've got the Dodgers at plus 115. Total sitting at 8. And it looks like it's going to be a bullpen game for the Dodgers tonight. I would expect to see Landon Knack at some point in this game for an extended period if he pitches well. On the other side of things, it'll be Dylan Cease. He's a 14 and 11 on the year with a 3.47 ERA. He uh, is on three days rest, so this is a little bit of uncharted territory for Cease. He did pitch in game one. It uh, wasn't a very good start. He allowed five earned runs across only three and a third innings, and that was the one game the Dodgers won was that 7-5 to five victory. On the other side of things, this Dodgers pen, um, like I said, expect to see Landon Knack at some point in this game. Uh, he did allow four earned across four innings in, in late September, the, for the last time, the only time he saw the Dodgers this season. As far as the Dodgers pen, Banda, and Kopech, you got to expect, and I think Dave Roberts actually did say that they would both be limited tonight after pitching an inning and an inning and a third, respectively. Also, the Dodgers dealing with some of these real injuries here uh, with Freeman running at the end of the game. I He might not play tonight, and if he does, he's going to be limited for sure. He's been really battling that injury. And then we saw Rojas, who he's been key at the bottom of this order, turning it over into Otani and Betts. And, and Rojas left the game last night. I wouldn't expect him to play either. And if he does, he's going to be pretty limited. So I think there's a lot of ways to play this game with it being the Padres winning and a lot of runs. I think you, could, you couldn't you could go wrong playing the over, uh, the Padres on the money line. I think that there's a lot of ways to play this. There's a lot to overcome for this Dodgers team uh, playing in this environment now, banged up, bullpen game. Padres know that they need this victory. They don't want to let the Dodgers regroup and go back to Los Angeles for game five. So I think the best way to play this is we go Padres team total plus the Padres money line on a parlay. You can find it on DK under team runs money line parlay. It's actually sitting at plus 110. Great odds on that one. So Padres to win the game and score. I expect them if they're going to win, got to figure in this series, we've seen 12, 12, 11 runs in this game. So I think the Padres to win this game they're going to need four runs. So we're going to go with that one for today at plus 110 odds. Guys, if you get a 30-day all-access pass right now over at sportsmemo.com, you get the second 30-day pass for only $99. Breaks down to only $5.63 per day. All sports across the board, including 5% plays. That's WNBA playoffs, MLB playoffs, NBA and NHL right around the corner, of course. NFL is king. And then we got the college football play of the week. I'm in action tonight in the MLB. And we're up 55 units since mid-June. Also have a 4% NFL best bet for Thursday night football. And we're number one for NFL props in 2024. There's always a link to my action in the pinned comment. I always have free plays over at X at Steve's Book 22 as well as at SportsMemo.com. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button on the way out. Good luck tonight and enjoy the games.